Hello everybody and welcome to the dynamic workout. We're going to get started right away with our warm up, starting with good mornings. Arms are out, legs are apart, and we're just going to go up and down. Keep breathing. Weight is in the heels. And we're only doing these for 30 seconds. squat and reach, squat and reach, really stretch those sides right here, so reach those hands up, point that toe, you can come down a little bit further if you can, okay, again just doing these for 30 seconds. Okay, so now we're going to do the, we're going to do the twist. So again, we're going to come down. When we come up, we're going to twist. We're going to come down, twist. Arms are going to be stretched out. Our face is going to be facing, uh, facing the same direction as our arms. Just doing these for 30 seconds. This is our warm up. Take your time if you need to. Main thing is that you do them. Okay. Do one more. There we go. Okay. So the last one, we're going to do the side kick. So our steps to the side, we're going to kick back. Step to the side. Then our arms are going to go up. Whoa, keep your balance, <laughs> but uh, so these are the butt kicking jacks. So just take your time. 30 seconds of these. So I didn't mention to always keep your core tight. So you gotta tuck in that bum, round that bum, tuck it in, suck in your belly button. You wanna do that for all the stretching and exercises that we do. One more, here we go. Okay, well I'm warmed up, how about you? All right, so let's get started with the dynamic workout. Okay, so put your arms up behind your head, the high wide side knees. Again, keep our core tight, Lift up our legs to the side, just as high as you can, high and wide. Now, if you can't do this and keep your balance, you can always hang onto a chair or a chair onto the side, whatever works for you. Okay, keep that core tight and lift those knees. Arms are spread out, the elbows are pointing out. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so the side standing leg extensions might be a bit difficult. This is how they go. You use opposite hand and you try to touch your toes. Now that may be a little bit difficult. A right hand against their left foot. So opposite hand and leg. And you just try to touch your toes if you can, great. If you can only touch your knee, that's fine too. And if you need to hang on to a chair, then you can just do the one side and touch it with your right. And then you can just continue with that side until I tell you to change. And just lift your leg as far as you can. Okay, but if you don't need a chair, go side to side. We're gonna be doing these for two minutes, so we're gonna switch halfway if you're working on just the one side. You can switch to the other side. If you're doing both, then we'll just take a little break and shake it out. Okay, so let's just shake that out. A couple of deep breaths, and we're going to do the other side. Keep 
breathe. You can take your time. Keep your core tight. Tuck in that butt. And just try to reach those toes. You want to keep your chest up high. You don't want to be leaning over to reach them. You want to stand up straight and just reach wherever you can. The main thing is that you're using opposite hands to your legs. Okay? All right, so we'll give that a little shake. Okay, so the next exercise is called the bird dog. This one could be a little bit tricky, but we, I will show you a modification. So again, you get down on all fours. Your wrists are underneath your shoulders, and we're gonna use opposite hands and legs. So the leg is gonna go out, and the hand is gonna go out. And then we're gonna come back and switch sides. Now, if you can't do them both together, like this, You can do just the hand for five, and then you can just do the leg for five. Okay, so you just work with whoever works for you. Make sure you breathe. Okay, take a second there. I'm gonna switch sides. You can do the leg and the hand together. important thing with these is that you keep square. So you want to keep your back flat and reach out with your legs. One more. There we go. A minute to catch your breath for that because we're going to stand up again. <clears throat> okay. Let's just give that a little bit of a shake. All right. Okay, so the next thing is our full body extensions. We're gonna be doing two minutes. Again, you can hold a chair if you need to. Coming down like this, and then we're making a big stretch up, stretching our arms, stretch, and then all down, swing our arms back, up on our toes, okay? So we're doing these for two minutes. So I'm just gonna have you do five. And then we're going to just shake it out for a second. And we'll do five more. Stretch and come down. Stretch and come down. Stretch and come down. Make sure you, you suck in your core. You do that big stretch. Take a deep breath in and let it out. Okay, so it's another five. Just give that a little bit of a shake more. Ready? Our last five, I'll turn to the side so you can get a good angle. Shake it out a little bit. Stretch up and down. Up and down. Really Spread those toes up, those finger stretches. Oh, I know. Oh, I can definitely feel those now. Okay, we're gonna do one more stretch of five. Okay, you ready? So up, that's one, two, three, for the last one. There we go. All right, good stuff. Whew. Okay, so we're gonna do the bird dog again, standing up. And that way, uh, you can see it's just another, another way to do them if you find it hard getting down on the floor. We're gonna do in uh, 20 seconds of these. So we're gonna do arm up, opposite arm and leg, Leg all the way up straight, bend it. We're using opposite arm to the leg. Man, 
nice big stretches. There we go. Okay, so our last two minutes is a side reach. So we're gonna go down and reach. Legs are gonna be slightly bent. We're reaching up with the arm, bending sideways, our hand down past our knees or however far we can go. Okay, down and up, down and up. Down and up, down and up. Down and up, down and up. Keep that core tight, suck that in, tuck in that butt. Couple more. There we go, shake it out. We're gonna do the other side for one more minute. Down and up, down and up. There we go. Stretch those hands up when we come up and push them down to the knees when we go down. Legs are slightly bent, core is tucked in. You really should feel that <clears throat> on your side. Give yourself a nice big stretch out, the arms, the legs, kick them, move them, just move around for like another 15 seconds. And that's it for the dynamic exercise. Whew. Okay, so we're going to get started with our cool down, which is just one minute around the world. Bend our knees slightly, and then we're gonna come up, we get a stretch at the top, and we're stretching all the way around, taking our time. Just 15 seconds, go in this direction. One more. Okay, now we're gonna change directions. Remember, palms out, palms in. Palms out, palms in. We're really giving our body a nice stretch all the way around. We'll do one more. There we go. Give that a little stretch. Okay, <clears throat> so we're going to get down on the floor <clears throat> for our hip circles. Hands underneath the shoulders, we're going to lean forward, to the side, and back, to the side, and forward, keep the fingers spread, when you're doing these for 15 seconds, make sure you keep breathing, take your time, really stretch out those muscles, do one more. Okay, now we'll switch directions. There we go. <clears throat> Take it nice and slow. Do one more. And then we're gonna go back down into child's pose, which is all the way back down onto your heels. Stretch those arms forward. Rest your head down. And stretch those arms. Take two deep breaths. I want you to stretch the right arm a little bit further and bring it in. The left arm a little bit. Bring it in. Just come back into that pose. Take another breath. You can stay in that position for as long as you need. And just take your time getting up onto your feet. 
Go nice and slow. Shake out those arms, those legs, the wrists. It's a great workout. Congratulations on getting through it. And I will see you at the next one.